Groucho, we invited some young ladies from a ski shop to the program tonight, and just before we went on the air, our studio audience selected Miss Sally Neidlinger. Her partner, Mr. Ramiro G. Gonzalez, has a hobby. So, folks, would you please come in and meet Groucho Marx? Well, welcome for the DeSoto Plymouth Dealers. Say the secret word and divide $100. It's a common word, something you do every day. Miss Sally Neidlinger, eh? You're single, eh? Yes. Well, and you work in a ski shop? Yes. Uh, you'll never get married around there. All the boys have cold feet. <laughs> Mr. Ramiro G. Gonzalez, eh? That's you? Si, senor. That's me. Si, si, senor. <laughs> Ramiro G. Gonzalez. <laughs> what does the uh, G stand for, Ramiro? Huh? Gonzalez? No, I know. Ramiro Gonzalez, but it says Ramiro G. Gonzalez. What oh? does the G stand for? Ramiro Gonzalez Gonzalez. <laughs> What are you, twins? No. Are you pinch heading for your father? No, uh, I'm Gonzalez, Ramiro Gonzalez Gonzalez because my father, before she married my mother, she, he was Gonzalez. <laughs> well, what is, uh... Could you give me that once more? Uh... My father was Gonzalez before he married my mother, and my mother was Gonzalez before she married my father. Well, they were crazy to get married. <laughs> what does your wife call you, Romero or Gonzalez? Uh, she called me Pedro. <laughs> That's the easy way, huh? I'll just call you Gonzalez, Gonzalez, uh, Pedro, Gonzalez, Sam, Gonzalez, huh? Everybody call me Pedro. Where are you from, Mr. Gonzalez, Gonzalez? Walla Walla? San Antonio, Texas. What's that? San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio! <laughs> Do you have a job? Oh, yes, I have a job. And I work in a WAI radio station I just drive a station wagon, pick up some copies, and sometimes I pick money, and I take it to the station. That's all I do. Uh, uh, you, you're married? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How long you been married? Nine years. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask this next question. Was your wife named Gonzalez before you married her? No. Oh. How did you meet Mrs. Gonzalez Gonzalez? Well, she was working in San Antonio in an old theater. She was a dancer. And I have a friend, and then he took me to her in backstage. And then she gave me a good look, and I give her another good look. And then we go on. What kind of a look did you give this girl when you met her backstage? Uh, could you give us a sample look, Pedro? Well, I just... Can I look at her? Look, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Would you mind if Pedro looked at you? Not at all. See? Give it a look, huh? <laughs> did this have any effect on you at all, uh, Sally? I looked back. <laughs> Well, I'm curious about your courtship, Pedro. Uh, didn't her mother object because her daughter was so young? Well, she objects sometimes, you know. I remember one time I went to, to see my girlfriend. I took her a serenade. You took her a serenade? Yeah, like the, I saw in the movie, they take serenade. So I took a serenade to her. And then I had my guitar and I started singing a song. When I was singing the song, I saw the window open. And I thought it was my girlfriend who would want to give me a nice, good, nice kiss. Good and she's night. upstairs and you're downstairs? Yes, sir. Well, how could she kiss you if she was upstairs and you were down? Well, I think I can climb up. <laughs> and she then, was younger than you. She could have climbed down, too. You? <laughs> and then the, the window opened. And I thought it was my girlfriend. And now it was her mother. And she threw me a pail of water. <laughs> Throw 
Throw a pail of water on you? Yeah. What were you singing? Kiss a fire? <laughs> what were you singing? Do you remember? Oh, I was singing the Rancho Grande. Well, could you give us a, a little of it? Uh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in el Rancho Grande. Uh, you want it in English or in Spanish? <laughs> What would you call that, what you just did? Uh, Rancho Grande. I mean. <laughs> would you call that English or Spanish? Well, I think I'd call it English. I, uh, you do it in English, huh? In English? Yeah. Over oh, there in the big range, I have a beautiful... Oh, I have... <laughs> well, no wonder you got the water. <laughs> uh, and I dance, too. You do, huh? Oh, well, yeah. could you do a little dance for us? Sure, why not? <laughs> what kind of dances do you do? You come over here, Sally, eh? oh. and you go over there and dance, huh? huh? You, you want me to dance? Yeah. What do you want me to dance? I dance the jarabe tapatillo, I dance uh, uh, la bamba, I dance little mambo, and I dance, you know... Well, do, do something that you do very well. Okay. Well, when I dance, I, I just dance la jarabe tapatillo. Pedro, we could do a great act together. We could make a fortune in vaudeville, you and I. What, what, what would we call our act, you know, if we went out together? The two hot tamales? No, we could have called it Gonzalez, Gonzalez, and Marx. That's nice billing. Two people in the act, and I get third place. In the act. Well, enough of this palaver. Let's see if you two can win some important ones. I hope you're as sharp on this as you were on that, uh, Pedro. Here we go. You run your twenty dollars into more than our other couples, and you'll get a chance. That's the thousand dollar question. That's the DeSoto Plymouth question. Don't forget that. The DeSoto Plymouth question. Can't tell you how much you have to. Pedro, huh? you're wasting your time. That duck is in Guatemala, by the way. That's what I was waiting for. Oh. Well, I can't tell you how much you have to win, but Senor Fenneman is going to remind our listeners. Mrs. Riley and Mr. Curry still lead with $245.